All right, I never thought I would actually be streaming today, but I'm permitted me, so why not? All right, so now we're heading to Mystery Labyrinth to um, figure out who killed Karin. So far, there are three main suspects, three people that actually wanted to hit, get their lead role so badly. AKA three rivals. It's not just that. We also have to figure out the truth between uh beneath um Ico's death as well. I do need to look back at like all the notes we got. That's all I need to know. I don't like how I'm chained up like that. Ow. Oh yeah, and oh yeah, and Desahiko is with us too. What? What's going on? Where are we? Is this hell? Martina must have shot me. No way. Why would I be in hell? Even when it comes to women, I always stop just shy of criminal activity. Calm down, Desahiko. This place is a mystery labyrinth. Huh? A mystery what? Oh, let me explain for a bit. Fast forward it. There we go. And that's everything. Were you listening, Desuhiko? No, he wasn't. Hmm? Yeah, I was just doing some appraising. Appraising? Yuma. This babe is totally top tier. Where'd you meet a hottie like her? There's never a shortage of girls when you're around. You're the best wingman ever. You thirst bucket. Master, this munchkin is an eyesore. You mind if I boom kill him now? No, you can't. Master, is that how it is between you two? Are you making me jealous? I just explained everything to you, but you weren't paying attention. Let's hurry up and do, you know. Oh, you're gonna make you're gonna make this Ico go fucking batshit crazy. Huh? What does that mean? Is it something not family friendly? Uh, borderline that. Master, are you ready to give your life for the truth? Yes, I am. All right, let's go and just get this over with. Am 
I'm just noticing that my stream is actually... My stream thing is actually tearing? Don't moan like that. Oh my gosh. Give me a second, hold on. I don't think there's anything I can do to to fix it. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I, I'm so excited. I... Hey, Yuma, me next, yeah? Let's swap places. Like hell that'll happen. Sorry, but that's not possible. Shinigami's powers can only be used by whoever made a pact with her. A pact? This goes even deeper than I thought. Pause. I explained that earlier, too. Anyway, next up is materializing the solution key. Oh, watch him have a fetish for that shit. Yeah. I don't like how my control is vibrating like that. She's perfect. I'm in love. Yep, I knew it. Really? All right, I've made up my mind. I have no idea what this mystery labyrinth thing is. But before we get out of here, I'll get you to fall in love with me. If you decapitate yourself, then I would consider it. That can be easily arranged. What? No, it can't. Now, let's set off to unriddle this mystery labyrinth. Our target is the culprit who preys on the truth. Right. This is the beginning of our battle for love. There's Jeez. no... I hope this works out. I knew I knew Dasahiko was going to be a problem the minute he, the, the minute came, the minute he came in here and saw Shinigami. So, this is the mystery labyrinth. Oh, talk about creepy. Hey, why don't we just head back and grab something sweet? We're stuck here forever. I prefer corpses and mysteries over sweets. But, hey! What? Hold on, wait for me! Don't leave me behind! Then start walking, then. By the way, Yuma... There's something I gotta ask. I don't remember how I got here. <laughs> Is it because I'm in love? No, it's because it's you're considered. Love. It's the mystery labyrinth. Yeah. When an outsider enters the mystery labyrinth, their memories are sealed away. This isn't gonna mess up my brain, is it? Am I gonna be all right? What difference does it make? Your brain is already messed up. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I, I mean, I won't, I won't just. Anyway. At the exit yet? We just got here. Oh, if only there was a brave, strong boy around. I would swap my master for him in a heartbeat. Huh? You can do that? All right. <laughs> now I'm getting pumped up. That's one way to just. Oh, off he goes. I wonder if he'll be okay. <laughs> Who cares? He's just gonna slow us down anyway. All right, whatever. <laughs> He's back. We've got trouble, Yuma. There's something up ahead. Oh, was it mystery a phantom? Did it look like a tiny creature? No, it's a witch. A witch is about to execute somebody. Uh, execute? Hysterical. Let's take a look. You're going to warn it to stop running away? Seriously? It's called the mystery phantom. I think it's a good thing that I'm able to like just fast forward like that whenever I'm running through the thing. Alright, so what am I looking at, bro? Wait, is that the peacekeeper? Over there! There, see? Yep, Damn, I knew it. That is scary. That's a mystery phantom. Their mysteries given form that try to block us from reaching the truth. 
appear in the form of someone interfering with the investigation. Now that you mention it, Martina, yeah, kind of looks like the peacekeeper Martina. She's the one hiding the truth. What is she doing over there? I shall now commence the execution. Mm -hmm. All criminals must be purified by the holy fire of darkness. What is happening? Uh, oh my gosh! Kurumi? Sand surface? Nice! What? So she's pinning the crime on the black chested Ago, then killing her to cover up the truth. This is terrible. We have to save her. Relax. This is the mystery labyrinth, remember? That's not actually her. But still, I can't leave her like this. You dare intervene in this execution? Anyone who defies the peacekeepers will suffer the same fate. All right, fine. I guess we're gonna have to deal with her then. Oh, new arena, huh? Don't let any shady statements slip by. Wait, mystery fans are sometimes hide the truth with a with a statement. Use repel in these situations to get the center of all. You're in the way. You're a detective. How foolish. Get in my way and you'll be executed. Oh shit. You dare defy me? It's clear who the culprit is. That claim doesn't hold up. Uh, oh. Clear? That's impossible. You don't have any evidence. You're a fool to the five peacekeepers. Very well. Allow me to educate you. Oh, it's like almost like a bluffing from um, almost like a bluff from uh, what you call it, uh, Ace Attorney, huh? Okay, now there's the keys. The trip. All right, let's see here. The poison. There was no poison in the wine bottle or anything. They bought the for the theater club. Was where the glasses were spotless in place. Poison was detected in the glass. Held by the victim, but the other glass had no such traces. I'm feeling it might be something with the wine glass. Truth is already apparent. The culprit must be Kurumi. Prior to the performance, she switched the wine with the juice. Sw wait, wait, switch the wine with the juice? The poison to commit the crime. Only Kurumi could have done it. It's the simple truth. No, it isn't. If you intend to defy us, Father, you shall also be executed. Huh? No. I need to know the properties of the person. The truth is already apparent. The culprit must be Kurumi. Prior to the performance, she switched the wine with the juice. At that moment, she mixed in the poison to commit the crime. Is it that? Oh, it's not that one? Crap. Okay, really? All right, fine. The trip. All right, fine, 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 fine. All right, that one. Truth is already apparent. The culprit must be Kurumi. Prior to the performance, she switched the wine with the juice. At that moment, she mixed in the poison to commit the crime. There we go. Flash through this mystery. <laughs> I was about to say there was a tip. Oh, whatever, that's fine. Whatever. The toxicity of the poison used in this crime 
is neutralized 30 minutes after being exposed to open air, but Karumi switched out the wine before the performance began, meaning more than 30 minutes had passed. So even if Karumi had mixed in the poison, by the time the incident occurred, it would have been completely neutralized, which means Karumi isn't the culprit. <laughs> defeated the monster all righty i'll save karumi leave it to me hey wait you an idiot it's all right now hey aren't you getting kind of cold i'll warm you right up oh damn okay that was that was kind it's the victim cotton i am the culprit who killed me what what the truth is this was a suicide. Uh, that's impossible. I the poison myself. I killed myself. That's impossible. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry too. No, it wasn't a suicide. I won't let her take the blame just to end this investigation. Why is she a mystery phantom? Does she want to also? I'll cover the truth as well. I'm so fucking confused right now. Wait, hold on. Come is my test of usual prior to start. Yeah, pacing the episode. I'm going to question who was brought to my preparations. Empty from the beginning, it is dry and shows no signs of ever being wet, wet, so it was never filled. No external injuries, die from drinking poison. I feel like it's messy with something with the poison vial. There was no trace of it being wet. No, the vial used on stage was just another prop. It was empty. There was no poison in it. As a matter of fact, the vial was dry. There definitely weren't any signs of it being used. So it's impossible to commit suicide using that vial. <laughs> Question is, why is she covering up this? Oh, did you get it? Really dodged the bullet there. I was about to make my move. You shouldn't approach women in the mystery labyrinth. This isn't the real world. I didn't expect you of all people to warn me about ladies. This mystery labyrinth is terrifying. Ah, oh, whatever. This kid is literally like a, lo a loose bolt. Oh god, Hang the frame on. rate. Why was it impossible to have been a suicide? Even if the vial wasn't used, she still could have drank the poison herself. But the poison is instantaneous, though. But the only thing Cotton drank from on stage was the shuffled glass. Even if Cotton added in the poison, there's no guarantee she'd be the one to drink it herself. It's not how someone who wanted to die would go about it. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't remember the play, so I didn't know it got shuffled. Hang on. You were asleep. Wouldn't the same be true for the culprit? If the glasses on stage were switched around... Oh my god, that was loud in my ears. Take the poison one, right? A social neko, thank you so much for following me. Welcome, welcome. Hope you have a flashy time joining us in this online army. Oh, uh... Maybe the killer wasn't aiming at Cotton specifically, but just wanted either actress to die. Let me, let me turn on the alerts. Oh my gosh, that was so loud. In my ear, rather. It's very nice to meet you, too. I hope you get comfortable here. Hmm, I can't completely rule that out. 
No, no, you're not in fault or anything. It's just me completely. I forgot to turn down my my thing in my own my own end. Sorry. <laughs> That's gotta be it. I'm a genius, even without my memories. There are no what do you think, what? You uh wanna dump your master from me? Hmm. I'm not sure. Can you escort me all the way through this mystery labyrinth? Yeah, of course. I'll grab a taxi or whatever to take you. Uh, there's no ta whatever. Jeez. What the? Turn on the lights? Bro, that's a heat ghost. Literally a loose bolt. No pun intended. Oh, uh, what is happening? What is this paranormal activity <gasps> rap that's happening? What is this place? It looks like the school, and there are three doors. Huh? Looks like it's up to me. There it is again. Uh oh, well, there's a Hiko. Uh, what? He's afraid of blood. Oh gosh. Uh, how? 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 What? Huh? okay at all this could kill me never mind that look i was supposed to mixed huh it seems the roots are separated based on the how done it aspect of the case what do you mean how done it what you're a master detective and you don't know don't tell me you're a how done it virgin <laughs> ew gross Wait, uh, uh, I know what this is. I, I was just testing Yuma since he's a trainee. Well, Yuma, did you figure it out? It's about how the crime was done, right? Yep. And once we solve all three hows for the crime, the final route, the conclusion of the who done it, should appear. And who done it is about the culprit's identity. If we figure out how the poison was applied, it'll identify the culprit. So it's like the last case, except we're trying to see how how it was done nice. instead of like. You sure know your stuff. Well, no, no, it's just like the other one. So, which way should we go? We'll probably have to explore all of them. So I'll let you pick the order, Master. I suggest we start with whatever route has the easiest answers, so we can solve it quickly. Okay, how is the poison glass chosen? What's the question? I was supposed to burn to you know, I was supposed to mix into the glass. I know it has something to do, do with the brush. Uh, there was a there was something caped that, actually hold on, let me see if I can Come do something on, with that. You better pay math set whichever skills suit you best. Because I forgot there were skills here. Uh hmm. Let's get that. Oh, I just have, oh, I can equip it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can upgrade it too. Yes, I wanted to slow down too. Because the Shinigami puzzle thing is always fucking me over for all the other cases I've been doing. Alright, I have no more SP, so that's it.
Now everything's equipped. All right, there we go. Okay, now let me look back at the solution keys so I can actually know what's going on because I did play this yesterday. Uh-huh. I know about this as well. Poison Vial was always empty. Uh, to shuffle stuff. Yeah, I couldn't shine the spot on one of the devices. Let me look, wait, let me look back at the, the brush. I don't know, something, I, I, I feel like something, I think, I feel like it was used to cape the thing. Are you sure you want to take the, how is the poison mixed into? Yes, I want to take it. So, oh, that's terrifying. So, the mystery of how was the poison mixed into the glass? Actually, I was thinking about that. Maybe it's wrong to think the poison was in the glass itself. Yeah, the peacekeeper said the same thing. The poison was only found on the victim's glass. Oh, right. If that's the case, it narrows down the possibilities for how by a lot. But don't let your guard down. Unriddling a mystery labyrinth is never so simple. I cannot fast forward. Oh, hi. Do I just go this way then? Oh, okay. Was the glass on the stage? It was during the play. It's oh, what? It was not? Okay, it was before the play then. The prop master placed the glasses on the shelf an hour before the performance began. Oh, wait, yeah, you're right. Why am I saying this? Is real bad, Yuma. We got more boulders coming at us. Come on, concentrate, concentrate. There's another door, Master. When was the poison placed in the glass? It has to be during the play. This door. There's no way it's before, otherwise, it'll be neutralized. The poison is effective for 30 minutes, but the duel of poison's cup scene occurred 45 minutes into the play. Which means the only way the poison could be used was during the performance. That's it. I... I think... We made it through. Come on, there's no time to slack off. We gotta keep going. So the poison trick was actually set up during the performance. The poison is effective for 30 minutes, but the duel of poison's cup scene occurred 45 minutes into the play. Which means the only way the poison could be used was during the performance. But that glass was on stage the whole time, wasn't it? True, the set was fixed an hour before the play, and the glasses were already set on the shelf by then. So the culprit slipped the poison in while everyone was watching. I'm not sure. 
Up, oh, lights out again. Oh god, what? It's them. Why do we have these three here? The culprit is Varna. There is no other explanation. It has to be her. Why me? Stop making such baseless accusations! Both Yoshiko and Kurane blame Waruna? Stop it! I hate to see girls fighting each other. The only person who could have added poison to the glass was whoever was also on stage. So that means it has to be Waruna. She's the culprit. I feel like that's a red herring. No. Murderer. Murderer. No, 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 no. What? What? Uh -oh. no, 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 Why is she mystery phantom now? Women are terrifying. I'm not the culprit. It's you, Yoshko. Oh, Yoshko? Wait, what's happening? I'm not the culprit. It's you, Yoshko! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see, let me see. We get a real girl. It was a It was a hole for adding a wall and drop. And Yoshko was the one who used it. I can, I can look for more information on this. Oh, there's no, there's no actual real more information. Yoshiko is in the audience. Yes. She killed the water gun with poison. She shot the poison straight into the glass. She shot she the poison? Night vision to see. She knew when the stage would be dark. So it's possible she prepared for that. But they were placed upside down in the beginning. Things were face down, though. This is not possible. It's, it, was, it was literally faced up after once the game commenced. No, the wine glass was upside down on the shelf. Even if she did use a water gun, there's no way she could have done it since the glass was upside down. <laughs> Women are really tough. You're just now realizing this, Tasahiko? I'm not the culprit. Oh, now Kurene? Oh gosh, now we're defending Kurene now? I 
have to be oh I have to be pelt this time. Jeez, get out the get out the freaking way. did it what's your reasoning uh, okay fine i'll tell you why kurane is the culprit please do i just showed the the oh let me see it there's no let me show this one out i think this is checked stayed up there during the whole duration Don't How? Kurane was on the catwalk. Yes. And mixed the poison into the glass. What? Using an eyedropper. Uh. Kurane used an eyedropper to add the poison. She did it from the catwalk above. She tripped the poison right in. Is it that one? Okay, yeah, it is that one. She was not doing anything suspicious. We literally have a eyewitness. Kurene wasn't the only person on the catwalk. Another member was working the lights. She claimed Kurene didn't do anything suspicious during the performance. Because of that testimony, it's impossible Kurene added the poison from the catwalk. <laughs> So it's proven that both Yoshiko and Kurane couldn't have added the poison to the glass. So Waruna really is the culprit. She's the one who snuck in the poison. I don't know about that. I thought you were better than that, Waruna. I thought you would compete with your performance fair and square. I always knew something was off about her. No, it's not me. It really isn't me. Oh, what? Now we're doing it with two Liar. phantoms. Liar. Okay, okay, you know what? Forget everything about what I said earlier. Everything's just being thrown out the freaking window right now. Liar, 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 liar. Now we're doing it with two phantoms at the same time. Now we're gonna have to defend uh, Kurene now. No, Warina. Why am I saying Kurene? Uh, Warina. I've, I have a feeling it's going to be something with the costume. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, it's definitely going to be something about that. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! No! Fuck off! It was checked. All costumes are checked. No, Warna wasn't concealing anything on her person. The costumer confirmed it. So it wasn't possible for Warna to have brought the poison with her on stage. <laughs> okay, are they all gone now? So what if they no, I just I just realized. What if they were they're all kind of interfering with the case, but unintentionally actually. Like they think it's one of each other, but in reality it might be someone else completely. Wait, so Waruna wasn't the culprit? Does that mean she didn't add the poison to the glass? It's a fact that she didn't bring the poison on stage. So naturally she couldn't have poisoned the glass. Well, but then what really happened here? So confused. Yeah, I don't have any leads right now. The only thing I know is that the brush has something to do with it. Let's think about it and keep going. Uh, 
Sorry, are we still walking in like the classroom or the hallways? Yep. What if I use my disguise to get new information out of the three of them? But we're stuck in the mystery lab with I already did that during the investigation. Oh, you did, huh? That too. But your disguise ability is incredible. It's like I was a completely different person. Makeup is one thing, but my voice and stature match too. I use a voice changer to synthesize a new voice. If I've heard it even once, I can easily set it up. I use tape to make your body appear thinner, or add padding for the opposite effect. Height can be adjusted by messing with your joints. Up to a certain point. By messing with our joints? But there are limits, given how it strains the body. The more you explain it, the more it sounds like you could commit a lot of crimes pretty easily. Yeah. If I'm being honest, I must resist my urges every single day. It's a daily battle to tame the monster inside me. What? Are you trying to become... Desuhiko, that sounds more weird than cool. Facts. Are we going this way? No. Uh, dead end. Huh? A dead end? Oh, are you not paying attention? I'm pissed about this path being blocked, so. I try to just ignore it. What? Damn, it didn't work. Hmm. Doesn't seem like a question is gonna appear. Looks like it's a completely dead end. I guess we can't reach the truth by answering how was the poison mixed into the glass. So this whole route was a waste? Well, we did eliminate one of the possibilities. Sometimes the journey is just as important as the destination. The journey. I like the sound of that. I'll use that for lyrics in my next song. Anyway, let's use my convenient magic spell to return to where you select roots. You better pay her, you better pay her back a royalty, Dad. <laughs> What's Hocus Pocus this time? Your voice amplified and echoes across the area. Uh, that's it? Yep, that's it. Now hurry up and pick another one, Master. Okay, fine. Zoom. I guess we should always just choose Zoom, otherwise she'll try and bring out some kind of other shot. No. No point in rushing. Let's take it nice and slow. Who wants a break? We can't do that. There's a time limit to solving the mystery labyrinth. Time limit? What happens when it runs out? We die. Well, your soul leaves your body and you're trapped wandering the mystery labyrinth forever. In the end, your soul will be absorbed into the mystery labyrinth and you disappear. In other words, you die. Cuba, come on. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, I know. Master, which route do you want to take next? How's poison? Yeah, that's a good question, actually. Poison so, our goal here is to answer the question, how was the poison brought to the theater hall? Speaking of, where did the poison used in the murder come from? The laboratory. The chemistry lab in the school. It's a highly toxic experimental chemical. Why not just take it from the chem lab and keep it hidden in your clothes or something? Well, it was a big thing. The chemicals bottle was huge, so it's difficult to carry around in secret. Then they must have swapped the containers and brought it to the theater. That's gotta be it. Oxidation will be indefinite. Okay. Is it just like the first first case then? Come 
Uh, paintbrush. There was a wet paintbrush in the chemistry lab. Yeah, exactly. The culprit used it to carry out the poisoning. They took the poison out of the lab by applying it with the brush. What was the... Another glass? The missing glass could be brought to the theater hall without drawing suspicion. The culprit poisoned the glass and brought it to the theater hall. You can do it, Master. This way. It'll switch that. So wait, is it? The culprit replaced the poisoned glass with the prop glass. Is it Yoshiko then? Because Yoshiko had the had the glass in the first place. Yeah, Yoshiko had the glass. Oh, okay, hold on. Now hold on, 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 hold on. I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. We're not done yet. Let's just get started. At least we now know how the poison was brought in. The culprit used the paintbrush from the chemistry lab and directly applied the chemical onto the backup glass. Yeah, if it's the same kind of glass as the prop on stage, it could be brought into the theater without suspicion. But the chemical is only lethal for 30 minutes, right? Even if it was prepared before the performance, it takes about 45 minutes before the Duel of Poison Cup scene. Wait, when did Yoshiko That's come in? Way too late. Wait, when did Yoshiko come in? That's the right, question. So, how about that, Yuma? Hang on, there is one person who could have brought the poison in before it expired. Yoshiko. Because Yoshiko just came back for no reason or something like that. Oh, those three again? And, uh, you're supposed to pick the right one here, yeah? Can you do it, Yuma? Yeah, you can count on me. Who could have brought the poison to the stage? I was in the audience the whole time! I couldn't do it from the stage! There's no way I could have done that! I could- I was in the audience the whole time! Yeah, it was pretty obvious it had to be you. Yoshiko, it was you, wasn't it? What? Um, me? The only way to use a poison with a 30 minute expiration, 45 minutes into a play, is to bring it during the performance. But Warna was acting on stage the whole time, and Kurane was managing the lights on the catwalk. But Yoshiko... You were working backstage, so you were the only one who could move about freely. In fact, you arrived late to the theater hall after the performance had already begun. You were about 15 minutes late, which is 30 minutes before the Duel of Poison's Cups. Just enough time for the poison to be lethal. So it was you. You brought the poison and got caught in to drink it. No, it's not me! What? She's running? She ran away! Yuma, after her! Well, she's doing the race right now. I'm dead. Hey, oh, bitch! My master loves hunting down prey on the run! Oh god, I, I have a feeling we're gonna have a sh I have a feeling we're gonna have a shitty gummy puzzle soon. Question, what was the glass put into a, a pouch? Because she has a pouch, doesn't she? As a production assistant, Yoshiko always had a bag with her. In it, she carried the glass with poison brushed on. Exactly. The glass would be small enough to fit in the bag, and even if someone saw it, she could say it's just a prop. I see. So she prepared for the murder while in her role as a production assistant. Oh, okay, she ran in here? What the hell are you doing? But you know what? 
It doesn't feel right chasing after a girl like this. Seriously. Hey, time to tough it up! You did it, didn't you? Not me. I, I didn't do it. You think crying will save you? Well, you're right. You're so cute. Hey, come here. Knock it off, Desuhiko! Back. It's all good. With my kind of charisma, I can make anyone a fan. She might even lead us all the way to our goal. Uh, oh, what's with Why the other two? You always get all the attention, Yoshiko. You're such an ass-kissing bimbo. Were oh, you jealous oh my when gosh. Karen took your spot? Is that why you killed her? Oh god, two more mystery phantoms. Hypocrite! What? Hey, that's way too mean. Even if she is the culprit, I'm sure she has a heartbreaking reason why. I didn't do it! I'm not the culprit! Oh, oh and now she is turning into a... Now she's turning into a phantom too. We're doing three of them at the same time. Oh, good gracious in heaven. Okay. Well, this ought to be this ought to be interesting. Well, all three of them somehow rest in peace. Okay, hold on. Why was acting this stage? Yep. He was on top, and she was not. She was not about that. But she was very nervous. I have no clue. So let me just keep on warning this action. Be direct with you. Oh shoot! The hypocrite Yoshiko is the culprit. Only you could have dropped the poison. I had to use like secretly in the dark. I didn't do it. No one can swap the glasses. Great. I'll be here. It before the black hour. The hypocrite Yoshko is the culprit. Only you could have brought the poison. Only Yoshko. Yoshiko took the poison glass and switched out the glass on the shelf secretly in the dark. I didn't do it. No one can swap the glasses. Oh, is that that? I'll be direct with you. I guess she goes actions. Okay, so which statement do I rebuttal then? Only you could have brought the poison. Only Yoshiko! No, no, no! I'm not the culprit! 
Yoshiko took the poison glass. And switched out the glass on the shelf. Secretly in the dark. I didn't do it. Case. I'll be direct with you. The hypocrite Yoshiko is the culprit! Only you could have brought the poison. Only Yoshiko! Not that one either. Just got sat down. In that case, I'll be direct with you. The hypocrite Yoshko is the culprit. Only you could have brought the poison. Only Yoshko. No, no, no. Yoshiko took the poison glass and switched out the glass on the shelf secretly in the dark. There we go. This is the truth. When Yoshiko returned to the theater hall. She sat at the right edge in the front row for the rest of the sh She would have had to move from the audience onto the stage to reach the shelf and swap glasses. But that's impossible. The lights were only out for five seconds. Even if she ran over, someone would have heard her footstep. So Yoshiko couldn't have been the one who swapped the glasses during the performance. <laughs> Yoshiko wasn't the culprit? So it's not she either of those three? bring the poison from the chem lab into the theater though, right? The method was already explained. But that could be just a theory. But still, she's not the culprit? If she couldn't have swapped the glasses on the shelf, she can't be the one who committed the crime. Let's keep going for now. There might be more ahead. Are they all accomplices then? This is making me scared of women. <gasps> I wish Shinigami would comfort me. Like hell she would. Oh, but I'm committed to master. Oh, damn it. I should give up my memories and sign a pact with the death god too then. Quick, Yuma. Punch me in the back of the head as hard as possible. What? Let's not. Another dead end. Damn. No matter what we try, it's always a dead end. Are you sure that's the case? What if there is something that makes the wall collapse? Hmm. Doesn't seem like it. Nothing can be done here. So this doesn't lead to who it is, even if we solve how was the poison brought to the theater hall? Seems that way. We should turn back for now. With my magic, we'll be there in a snap. Yeah, 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 let's zoom. All right, time to start over. Which route do you want to pick? All right, how was the poison glass chosen? You want to go? Everywhere we go is mega creepy. 
Is there somewhere we can take a break? No. Rest wherever you want. In fact, you can rest for all of eternity. Anyway, how did the culprit get the victim to choose the glass with poison in it? The glass oh, now everything mixed around on stage after all. Now it's gonna be pointed at Warren. Uh, Warren. Would you mind telling me the sequence of events that happened? No, not Warren. Um, what's her it's name again? No I fair otherwise. I don't know about being fair, but here's exactly what happened. The duel of poisons cup scene began around 45 minutes into the performance. At the start, the victim, Karen, brought the glasses and bottle from the shelf that's on the set. Karen then took out the poison vial from her pocket and poured it into one of the glasses. But the vial was just a prop. It didn't have any real poison in it. After that, the glasses were shuffled. Oh god, this again. trying to find the lost ark or something it, it's all right we can keep going by solving mysteries right now concentrate right here we go uh, both of them must be it the two people on stage who took turns shuffling the glasses were Waruna and cotton obviously both of them who chose the glass first? It was Karin. This must be it. The first person to choose a glass was Karin. This glass had the poison. This must be it. Glass that Karin chose, of course. Warna placed her mouth on a glass, but she didn't die. Which means only the glass Cotton chose contains poison. Th this way. <sighs> I thought I was done for. Yeah, yeah. Quit being lazy and get a move on. Eagles MC squared, really? Hey, are you sure that only the glass Cotton took had poison in it? Isn't it possible both of them were poisoned? Warana drank from the other glass and didn't die. That has to mean only Cotton's glass had the poison. Then how did the culprit get Cotton to pick the glass with the poison? Well, maybe the culprit wasn't after Cotton specifically. They didn't care who wound up drinking the poison. Hmm, I'm not sure about that. I think Cotton absolutely was the target. my type oh, my heart I am in love have you not learned let me tell the truth the culprit is Warana how seriously thanks for telling us you're so gullible she's obviously lying you're serious that was a lie it's no lie Waruna knew which glass was poisoned. Either the glass with the poison was filled just a bit higher up, or she marked the right glass beforehand. Are you dumb? Knowing that, Waruna prompted Karin to select the glass which contained poison. No, you prompted her! Prompted her? How? Only the two of them were on stage. She could guide Karin through the scene. No, Karin would have chose the one that shined first. Before or after each line of dialogue, she could have easily signaled her with gestures or glances. Yeah, that checks out. I don't think she's saying anything super questionable. The glass? Could this be? The water not know which glass had the poison. No, they didn't. I get it. We have to pick the right one. I'm counting on you, Yuma. Right. 
Of course not. filled the glasses. Warna wouldn't have been able to tell which one had poison just by the amount of liquid. Well, how about marking the glass itself? There were no markings on no. it. No. The prop master testified that there wasn't a single mark on either glass. No, they were spotless. We can't let anything happen to the glasses our actors use. Uh, no, really. I'm surprised you investigated that much. <laughs> Are you sure you're a rookie, Yuma? It was all thanks to your forte. So it's thanks to me. I knew it. I didn't lie. <laughs> no one believes me. Everyone else is lying. <laughs> Why won't you believe me? Wait, she just disappeared. The mystery labyrinth is a reflection of the real world, right? Uh, then maybe what she's crying about is reflection of the real world then she must have grown up surrounded by a bunch of scumbags that's it i'll warm her up with my charisma once we're back in the real world uh, you won't remember any of this that though that is exactly what a scumbag would say anyway the two glasses got shuffled right so the odds were 50 50. maybe she just relied on luck if she hit her target, perfect. If not, who cares? I doubt it. But it's impossible to get the victim to pick a specific glass after shuffling them. There is a way. Man, why did the culprit even do this? It's way too much trouble to pull off a murder in the middle of a performance. That's it. Maybe there's a reason why it had to be done during the play. Huh? What do you mean? The culprit had to make the victim choose the poison glass on stage for some reason. If that's the case, there could be a trick involving the stage itself. Up. How did the culprit make Karen choose the poison glass? So, now we gotta prove how the poison glass was picked. You got this, Yuma? Yeah, I'll do my best. Spot the selection? Okay, it's the lights. It's the lights. Uh, how do I do it? Do I just pick the mill here? Huh? You mean somebody on... No. The two of them on stage... Well, that means this... I'm trying to choose the light. What the fuck, bro? You mean somebody? No. The well, that. Is considered the same? Oh, oh wait. I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to pan up. That's why. I'm an idiot. Spotlight. The culprit used the spotlight to get caught in to select the poisoned glass. The spotlight? The how? The culprit told Cotton to take whichever glass the spotlight hit first. As a matter of fact, Cotton's script had a note written in her own handwriting. It said, take the glass the spotlight hits first. No way! The table was directly under the catwalk with the spotlight. So from here, you could see how the shuffling was done. If you know that much, then it's pretty much solved. So I'm gonna start bl blaming, um... <clears throat> Excuse me. 
That so everyone's been pointed the blame so far. It can't be me. It's not me. It's not me. Corona is you. You're on the cakewalk. Or the cat? No, no, the uh, catwalk. Someone who managed the lighting during the performance indicated the poison glass to Cotton. Kurone, she was in charge of the lights on the catwalk. Oh God, more, more mystery phantoms, huh? I knew it was you. Whoa, what's going on? I always thought you were gloomy and creepy, but I didn't think you'd actually murder someone. On top of that, you used the sacred props from our play. I knew you'd murder someone one of these days. Why don't you take responsibility and just die? Yep. I didn't do it. I'm not the culprit. It's not supposed to be like this. Why can't everyone be nice to me? I know I'm gonna have to defend Warren, so. No, not Warren, not, um. I keep on forgetting her name. I'm just calling, I'm just gonna call her um when I Shit. You use the sacred stage for murder. You slipped the poison into the glass, didn't you? This is the truth. We have an eyewitness saying that he that she didn't do anything suspicious. The poison is neutralized after 30 minutes, but the murder occurred 45 minutes into the play. In other words. The poison had to have been poured into the glass after the play began. But Kurine was up in the catwalk even before the play started. She was up there the whole time, too. If that's the case, it's impossible for Kurine to have poured the poison. <laughs> okay, now all three of them are gone again. Oh, everyone's gone. Wait, what's going on? Kurine, is it the... Didn't you say Kurine used the spotlight to get Karen to pick the poison glass? Yes, but she couldn't have poured the poison into the glass herself, which means she can't be the culprit. So that means the culprit is... <laughs> I don't get it at all! I give up! Well, the path keeps going, so let's think about it as we go. That sword sure is sharp, Yuma. Can you cut through anything with it? The solution blade is effective on anything inside the mystery labyrinth. Anger Master, and he'll cut you in half. <laughs> Don't do it, Yuma. You and I are pals, aren't we? My man! <laughs> I'd never do anything like that. Yeah, I know that. I, I just had a gut reaction to what she said, you know? Ugh, we could have threatened him into becoming Master's loyal slave. But that would be only within the Mystery Labyrinth itself, because he wouldn't be able to transport his memories to the real world. Alright, another dead end. So we just proved it's not either one of those three. What's going on here? It's a dead end. Hmm... 
doesn't seem like there's a hidden question here. This really is a true dead end? A true dead end? It means you can't reach the truth just by answering how was the poison glass chosen? Then it was all a waste of time? Well, they should have at least left us a treasure chest or something. Hey, Yuma, it's your fault for picking this route. What? Well, reaching a dead end is expected inside a dungeon. Think of it as stamping out one possibility and move on. Oh, totally. You are always right, Shinigami. Simp. You change your tune awful quick. For now, let's head back to where the roots change. Time for a convenient magical spell. Zoom, I know, I know. Think about it. Wasn't that the third route? <sighs> What's going on? They're all dead ends. What does it mean, Shinigami? It seems that even though we tried to solve every how, we can't figure out who the culprit is. Oh, come on! Then what was the point of our great adventure? I've told you this a dozen times already. Even dead ends are precious clues. Because of them, you figured out that examining the murder method won't lead you to the culprit. I see. So we're still making progress. <laughs> Great work, Shinigami. <laughs> anyway, we have to view this case from a different perspective. Oh gosh. What's that? I suppose that's your different perspective. Whoa. Oh! Wait, you, wait, you spy the man? Oh, we're really walking on another side. Well, if we keep moving, then. That's trippy as all hell. Why did the incident happen? No fair, Yuma gets to have all the fun. Why are you jealous of this? The question is, why did this happen? I guess we're on the why done it route. Wait, did why done what now? It's about the reason why the case occurred. Meaning, this is the route where we seek the motive. Looks like we need to focus on figuring out the culprit's motive from here. Yeah, I know cases always deal with motive, but wouldn't it have been better to start with this route from the get-go? We only know this route is important because we cleared out the how routes. That's how it goes when it comes to solving mysteries and dungeons. Oh, uh, sorry. I, I guess that's how it is. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Shinigami. Simp. Let's keep going for now. Figure out the culprit's motive. What kind of person was caught in anyway? Was she cute? Yes, but more importantly, she was next in line to be star of the theater club. She was considered to be the best actress among the club's current members. Is she now? So the culprit was envious because she was so popular. They killed Karen so they could become the star instead. No, I don't think it's that simple. Hey, who are you calling simple? Six months ago, the leading member of the theater club also died in a separate case. Top actresses dying one after another? Is their club cursed or something? The name of the student who died was Aiko. Her death was ruled a suicide by jumping off the school, but Kurumi doubted that was the case. Kurumi, huh? She's all right. All right. Anyway, I doubt it's a coincidence for people to die in such quick succession. 
this case may have been triggered by Aiko's death. So if we find the truth behind Aiko's death, maybe we can figure out the motive in this case. Hmm. The truth behind Aiko's death. Oh, Aiko. Hey, look. W where's she going? Aiko? Whoa, she's cute too. Let's go talk to her. She's about to get a taste of my full and undivided attention. You can already tell women will be his downfall. Oh well, it's not like you're any better off with yours truly, master. Or whatever. Okay, move! Ah! Was that Desihiko? behind her death Good luck, Master. okay let's get to this then Who I got to? has to be a homicide Ico's death six months ago was actually a result of murder by the flower bed Okay. The answer. Yeah. The location of Ico's murder is the flower bed. But the brick. This is the answer. Looks like she busted her head before she fell completely. The brick with Ico's blood on it had a very unnatural splatter pattern. After the culprit hit her with the brick, they returned it to its original position. Oh, another one. Who murdered Aiko? I don't know. This is the answer. I had a feeling. <laughs> or not. Never mind. Okay, I don't even know who it is at this point. This is the answer. Aiko's death was not a suicide by jumping, and Cotton clearly lied in her testimony. Cotton killed Aiko. I guess I should have just chosen that because she was the f she was technically the first witness. So. All right, let's keep following her, Yuma. So I guess Karin's death was the act of revenge. I can tell Aiko's death wasn't a suicide from the evidence photos. Her shoes were neatly placed on the roof, but there was dirt on them that looked like it came from the flower bed. Oh, I tried to look at that and I didn't even realize. I think Aiko was told to meet at the flowers behind the school building and then murdered there. So the shoes were taken to the roof after? The murder weapon is likely a brick from the flower bed. The brick with Aiko's blood on it had a very unnatural splatter pattern. Oh, I didn't even realize that either. If she fell above and hit her head, the blood stain wouldn't get cut off in that way. I'm sure that after the culprit hit her with the brick, they returned it to its original position. But do you have evidence that Karen did it? If Aiko didn't die from jumping, Karen's testimony makes her highly suspicious. She said she heard something fall and went to inspect it. I get it. Hearing a sound that never happened means she's obviously lying. Karen lied. And the reason why she lied... 
She made it appear like Aiko jumped. If that's the case, then the one who killed Aiko is Karen. Aiko? She disappeared? Damn it! I can't even help the girl who needs it most! Help her? She was dead long before you could help her. Anyway, this must be the roof Aiko supposedly jumped from. Uh, hey. Why did Karen kill Aiko? I thought an all-girls school would be more sunshine and rainbows than... murder. If a brick was used as the murder weapon, then it could have been an impulsive crime. So Karen might not have been planning to kill Aiko when she called her there. You mean they were talking and it turned into a crime of passion? That's so cliche. What if it was something about self-defense, maybe? Maybe Maybe they were discussing their acting careers. They had a disagreement and it turned to violence. Well, if this caused the other murder case, then... Is the motive... revenge? Yeah, they weren't fighting over Aiko's spot. They wanted to get back at Karin for taking it away. Meaning... the culprit is whoever cares the most about Aiko? Then which of the suspects is it? In fact, where do we even go from here? We got the motive, but there's still no path. Oh, don't tell me Kurumi somehow did some shit. This is different from the other dead ends. I think there's a mystery around here. I did say I was sussing a little bit of Kurumi at one point. Something must be hidden here. This place. Hey. Hey. we were looking for? We're so high up. When did this happen? Master, look over there! What's that? It doesn't seem connected to anything else. Which means that could be the Who location. So the true culprit is over there then? But how do we reach it? It's not connected to any other route. What, are you freezing up? Scared of heights or something? Oh, it's not that. About those three roots. Wait, she. Wait, what is he doing? Ben? You carry that around with you all? Of course. Who knows when I'll be asked for my autograph? I had a feeling I was gonna be saying some shit like that. Done. Isn't it perfect? I'm just as good at drawing maps as I am at remembering a pretty face. This is the how roots when seen from above, right? What about it? Well, this is a dungeon, right? So maybe there are some secret paths in here. Secret paths? See? If you look at it this way, doesn't it all seem like the same road? You're right. The three how roots are connected into a single route all the way to the who room. Wait. All three are connected? So they're all, so wait, all three of them? All three of them were- That's it, I think I've got it. That's the hidden truth behind the how root. Oh, so that means all three of them are gonna rest in peace if that's the case. explanation for how the victim could have been poisoned. They all work together. What? Seriously? Not bad, you finally made yourself useful. Holy crap. <laughs> Yay, Shinigami complimented me. You Shinigami, wasn't I a good boy? I deserve a treat, right? What the hell's wrong with you, dude? If you think you've got this, I'll back you up. Lay it all out. 
Oh god, this again. I was wondering when we were going to do a Shinigami puzzle. Oh god, this is way too slow. Twirling, twirling, twirling. Go, go, go. Nice. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. There you go. Right, accomplices. The truth of this case is that Yoshiko, Warona, and Kurane were all accomplices and committed this crime together. Accomplices? But don't they hate each other's guts? It's the truth. I realized it once you drew this map, Desuhi. The three how routes that we explored were all dead ends. Each of them were suspects, but they were all ruled out because of certain details of the case. That makes sense. If we look at them separately, we get dead ends. But by connecting all three routes like this, and looking at it as a single criminal act, it clearly becomes one path forward. They were accomplices that committed a single crime. This murder would have been impossible to commit alone. We figured that out during the How route. But if the three of them worked together, they could make it possible. Uh, uh pickaxe? What's this? I guess we're supposed to break the wall? Sounds like fun! I'm in! It's all thanks to my help, don't you think? And don't you forget it. You're the one who's going to forget it. Anyway, let's check it out. We have to make sure we're on the right track. Alright, zoom. <laughs> it's Kamikaze Hell No. By separating the hows, the three of them divided up the tasks that needed to be done to pull off the murder. Don't you think so, Yuma? Yeah, I think it's the only way. Huh? Ah, <laughs> oh, you sure sound confident. And now, there's a new problem to solve. We have to expose the secret behind their complicity. How exactly they cooperated together and the timeline of the crime. G got it. The timeline, huh? Then the first thing to discuss is... First thing to discuss? I was poison brought. Didn't mix them. Yeah, so how poison was brought in the first place? Let's start with the poison being brought to the theater hall. Their conspiring began with how was the poison brought to the theater hall. It's a route we already explored to the very end, so let's blast through it! Hey, wait! Well, at least she's allowing us to, like, practically teleport over there. The only person who could have brought the poison to the theater hall was... Yoshiko, right? Yeah, the poison neutralizes after 30 minutes. So it had to be brought into the theater during the show. As the production assistant, only Yoshiko could have done it. Looking back, 
The reason they chose poison as the murder weapon was to establish an alibi. The poison was only active for 30 minutes, which gave the other girls an alibi. Yoshka went to the lab for the poison as soon as the performance began. She had the extra glass hidden in her bag. And after she brushed poison onto it, she put it back in her bag and returned to her seat in the front row as if nothing... The problem is, what happened next? Good question. We're here. You're up, Master. Y yeah. To Warna? Yeah, it has to be to Warna, not the other two. Isn't this the how was the poison mixed into the glass roots? Wow! It really connected! Alright! Let's keep going and reach the truth! Whoa! But the fact that Yuma was being dragged like this. Hey, you said Yoshiko handed the poison glass over to Waruna, but Waruna was performing on stage, right? How could she receive the glass while on stage? The, the blackout? Only time I can think of is when they turned off the lights. Yoshiko sat on the right edge of the front row close to the wings, where the actors enter and exit from scenes. She probably stood up when the lights went out and left the poisoned glass near the right wing. Even if she couldn't get on stage, she could at least do that within five seconds. Then, Warna picked up the glass and hid it under her costume. The costume check happens before the performance. So she got around that by receiving the cup during the performance. I see. So they passed the baton during the five seconds the lights were out. The two of them must have rehearsed it as much as the rest of the play. But what happened after that? Suppose Waruna did get the poison glass. How did she swap it with the real glass while the play was still ongoing? A few moments after the blackout. There's a scene where Warna approaches the shelf. It only lasts two or three seconds. But Warna's hands on the shelf are completely hidden from the audience. At that moment, Warna could have switched out the original glass with the poisoned one. Niki little bastard. So they used the play itself for their seemingly impossible crime. <laughs> Talk about guts. This is something only thespians could pull off. Gummy. <laughs> Isn't there a safer way down? Master, hurry up and break this one down too. Right. Okay, Dasehiko, you need to get you need to get this straight through your head. There's no way that Shinigami cares about you. How was the poison glass chosen? It was uh Karina that guided it. Alright, we got this one too. Only a bit more. Let's keep going. B wait, can we take a break? Hell no. This is the final one. It's the how was the poison glass chosen? It. From here, it's exactly as we solved it before. Kurine told Cotton beforehand to take the glass the spotlight hits first. And then, after confirming the poison's glass from the catwalk above, the spotlight was pointed directly at it. And that's the method behind the murder weapon. Well, you like that word, don't you? That solves this mystery. We've almost reached the truth. Seriously? That's terrible. Huh? Why? Because you're gonna miss Shinigami. Because I haven't gotten Shinigami to fall for me yet. That's not gonna happen. Even if you stay here for a hundred years. In fact, I basically think you're nuts. You know, beyond the hate, there could be love. It's kind of like traveling the globe. You and I can go in opposite directions, but eventually, we'll meet. That's a stretch. Yeah, facts. Ugh, I feel sick. This is the last wall. Food Maricar. Are you ready? Right. All three of them. They all want a car in dead. Door is the who room. 
We finally made it. It's time to end this, Master. <sighs> that means all three of them are just gonna rest in peace right in front of everyone. Oh gosh, the flower garden. Well, looks like all the culprits are here. But there. Why do they look so sad? How boring. You call yourselves the final bosses of the mystery labyrinth, then start acting like it. Might as well garb a truth till we end at this point. <laughs> what? There. I'm so confused. What's happening? Okay, doesn't matter. We're going to be charging head person to towards them. Tackles wide. Okay. the three pictures oh my gosh you did it great job that's right that's why you must dread that's why you must full dread the three photos they each have what so they're all in the same picture That's yeah they the were truth. no need for mercy let's do this master no 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 Oh, no. Stop! 
Yeah, there is. This is the truth of the case. Uh, they all so all three of them wanted that bitch to rest in peace. Because they all because all of them loved Aiko. This is just a guess, but you three weren't actually on bad terms with each other, were you? In fact, it was all an act to get revenge for Aiko. You all cherished the same picture with her. It was originally a single photo of you all together, with Aiko in the middle. You were all close friends. And when you connect the pictures together... Everyone is there, smiling. So, why? Come on, we've got work to do before you get all sappy. Let's go. One more push and we'll be done with this labyrinth. <sighs> oh yeah, the final argument. What would a hero do? A real defender of justice would defeat evil here and now and be done with it. But I'm no hero. All I want is the truth. And the truth is right here. So why go any further? Will solving this mystery really make anyone happy? Master, do you sympathize with them? That's not something a detective should do. Your job is to solve mysteries, isn't it? If so, you have to expose the truth. You have to prove it in a way anyone can understand and anyone can see. Detectives aren't defenders of justice. They're defenders of truth. Defenders of truth. A detective must never overlook a mystery. Any and all truths must be exposed. A detective must always prioritize solving a case. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. It's easier said than done. Yuma, if you can't do it, I can take your place. No, I'll do it. I'll take responsibility. I'll see this through. All right. All right, let's get through this deduction. All right, so how do I look at the... Oh, yeah. So what was the, what was the question again? What weapon did Karin use? It was the... Oh, not that one. Uh, that one. This guy's disguise is suicide. And we don't have that yet, so we're gonna have to skip that for now. Well, uh, that one will be this one. this one. Okay, into the chemistry lab. Went to get the poison. This 
spotlights. A what? Uh, of course it's that one. Whoopsie. Because they did not read the script. begins with Aiko's death six months ago. Aiko was thought to have committed suicide by jumping off the roof. But in truth, Kaden murdered her. The shoes left on the roof had dirt on them from the flower bed at the crime scene. The blood stains on the bricks were also unnatural. And it was obvious that an amateur had faked it. If it wasn't a suicide, it would contradict Kaden's testimony. However, she didn't originally intend to kill Aiko. It was a crime of passion. So they got into an argument, cut and saw red, then boom? Women are so scary. Yoshiko, Waruna, and Kurane probably realized the truth behind what happened. The three teamed up to avenge Aiko. They used the dress rehearsal to commit this crime. Reason getting together to plan a murder is pretty crazy. Yoshiko and the audience was to bring the poisoned glass into the theater hall. Once it was sealed, the poison is harmless after 30 minutes. So she went to the lab 15 minutes after the play began. The poison container is too big to transport unnoticed, so she applied it to the glass in her bag with a paintbrush. Brought it back to the theater hall, then went on standby at the right end of the front row. Warna, who was acting on stage, was to switch out the poisoned glass. During the five second blackout 30 minutes into the play, Yoshiko placed the poisoned glass in the wings. Warna, on stage, retrieved it and hid it under her costume. Then, in the scene where she approaches the shelf, she exchanged the glass there with the poisoned one. Switching in the murder weapon on stage while everyone is watching? What a pervy exhibitionist! What's perverted about that? Facts. And Kurane on the lights would guide Cotton to take the poisoned glass. Then came the duel of poison cups! The two glasses on the shelf had juice poured into them. Cotton and Warana shuffled them in a way the audience couldn't see. But Kurone, who was on the catwalk directly above the stage, saw exactly which glass held the poison. She confirmed the location of the poisoned glass and shone the spotlight on it first. Cotton drank from that glass 45 minutes after the start of the play. Winner, winner! Poisoning complete! That was so long! Good job! Kurone told Cotton of a change in stage direction, where the victim was to take the glass the spotlight hits first. Cotton followed this instruction to take the poisoned one. The whole sequence of events for this crime would have been impossible for a single person. Their cooperation was also a means to conceal their involvement. 
but I can't shake the feeling that there was some other reason behind it. The ruthless, disgusting criminals who conducted this murder are... Yoshiko! Waruna! Harane! You are the killers! Wait, what? They may have pretended to always be at odds with one another, but deep down, they were bonded through their shared admiration for Aiko. Yeah, Shinigami is not getting that satisfaction because, because um, you must you must uh feeling so starting to get the better of him. This is my answer. Now, all three of them are going to rest in peace. Was there really no other way? Was there no way to prove Karin did this without killing her? That's not possible. Not in Kanai Ward. The peacekeepers bend the truth whichever way they want to. The three girls couldn't get justice from them. Which led to this crime. But that... it doesn't make it right! How long did you put on an act for this? Aiko... was our sunlight wherever she went. We were meant to be there with her. She was... everything to us. We were together ever since we were young. Her dream was our dream. We were nothing special. But she called us her rivals. Those words encouraged us to carry on. But now she's gone. Everything's hopeless now. The three of us investigated Aiko's death. I used my parents' connections to view top secret case files. But no matter what we did, the peacekeepers refused to reopen the case. So then you had to carry justice on yourself. Because Karen's father is a big shot at Amaterasu Corporation. Oh yeah, that too. That's why we had to do it ourselves. We wanted revenge. Revenge became everything for us. And to get it, we pretended to fight amongst ourselves. We are actors after all. But we don't have to anymore, right? We don't have to keep this up. We put on quite a show, didn't we, Aiko? Oh, Aiko's there too. <laughs> this leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Then again, most cases do. But that's the end. We can finally return to the real world. Uh, once we return to the real world, all three of them are going to be rest in peace. The girls open up like that in the real world too. No, they won't. No, I don't think they can. Huh? Why is that? Oh, also, <laughs> where's Shinigami? She's about to start the execution. Right here. Well, what do you think? Did you fall in love with me? I know you did. You must have, yeah? I already told you. I will never fall for you. You are seriously getting on my nerves. You're annoying and exhausting. Uh, Desuhiko? <laughs> Did you think I was serious? She's a piece about to want to stop bot. Just testing the bond between you two. Our bond? It's more like a curse, at least to me. <laughs> Right. I was just testing. I, I wasn't serious at all. He's about to start ugly crying, ugly crying for real. I didn't get rejected, okay? I did it. Uh, all right. Just calm down. Anyway, let's do it. Time to exterminate the souls of the true culprits and destroy the mystery labyrinth. Wait, Shinigami, do we really have to do this? I mean, they... They're murderers! The reason 
why doesn't matter. I make my living reaping the souls of criminals because I'm Shinigami. Yeah, there's not. Yeah, there's no other way we can like, like think of this. Surging bloodlust, overflowing despair, the brilliant soul of Shinigami. And that's the end. Move. Huh? What the? Wait, what just happened? Oh, hold on, let Soul calm down. All three of them. Now all three of them die. W what? W what's going on? I knew it. <laughs> the evil murderers have been expunged once again. Oh, right. I got one more job to do. Are you going to start t confessing? Excuse me, everyone. The culprits behind this incident were Waruna, Kurne, and myself. All three of us conspired to poison Karin. Uh, the way we got her to ingest the poison was... Oh, did they start explaining everything from there? you people have done but next time it won't go your way remember that also everything's cleaned up Did you see that <laughs> she was staring at me the whole time she's got to be in love with me oh fine i guess she can keep the peace of my love as well <sighs> oh god hey, what's got you so down all three of them just died out of nowhere nobody's to blame for that there's no reason for either of us to feel guilty. He'll feel guilty because he was the one who unraveled the truth, therefore killing them. Seems like all the memories from the mystery labyrinth are completely gone. Master, we're in the clear. All three of their deaths won't be your fault now. That's not what I'm worried about. Yuma! Uh, oh, Kurumi? Kurumi? Thank you for saving me. I knew you'd come to the rescue. <sighs> And of course, Shinigami's hey, getting jealous. Are you all right? The peacekeepers didn't harm you, did they? No, I'm fine. Hey, Yuma? I don't want to get in the way of this tearful reunion, but maybe we should get out of here. It'll be trouble if the peacekeepers come back. Oh, right. Let's leave then. What's with this transition screen? <laughs> Oh, 
bro. I don't understand why they decided to make a tr transition. Tr tr transition screen. I cannot speak. My lisp. Oh my gosh. I head to the agency and put in a good word for you. I don't really get how it all ended, but I have a hunch. Yuma, you did all the work, right? <laughs> huh? Huh, guess he's got good intuition. <laughs> Looks like I won't be calling you rookie from here on out. Let's keep working together, my man. Mind your manners as you walk your girl home. <sighs> What is it? This tension. Don't tell me. Is this where they made babies? Uh, chill out. Did something happen? You seem down. Oh, well, although the case was solved, three lives were lost. Right. I didn't expect Yoshiko and the others to. <sighs> um, could it be that their deaths? Are related to your forte? What? Wow, we've got another sharp one. Master, I hope you know this, but if you say anything about our contract... Oh, sorry for saying something so strange. I know I'm off, right? Even if that were the case, you'd never tell me. <sighs> hey, Kurumi, there's somewhere I want to go. Will you come with me? Uh-huh. Sure. I guess. Oh, are we going to the locker rooms? Just to show the pictures, I guess? God, I need to massage my hands. I've been gripping that controller the whole time. Oh, the rooftop. Wow! What a nice view! It's like a secret hideout! I didn't know that Kamasaki had a place like this. Please, help me save this city. Save this city, huh? I managed to save Kurumi by solving the case, but I killed those three girls. I'm responsible for their demise. If I had let the peacekeepers deal with it, at least their deaths could have been prevented. What exactly did I even solve? It's not a true solution if we can't save everyone. What I gained in exchange for my memories isn't some convenient mystery-solving tool. It's literally the power of a death god. What are you musing about? You can't reclaim the past, and you're not going to get your memories back either. In the end, you just have to accept it. Accept it? Instead of believing in some vague thing like justice, just believe in the truth. They say there's only one truth, and there's only one type of person who can find their way to that truth. Detectives. Even if I have to sacrifice others to find it, I should let so many people die for the truth? Master, you keep going to extremes. It's part of why you're a greenhorn. I'm about to say, like, Kyoko would always be the type of person just... Disregard everything that means uh, learning the truth. Uh, seems like you still have much to learn under my guidance. What is the truth? Why did I become a detective to seek it? You? Huh? Oh, yes? I know I already said this, but thank you so much. You are exactly the kind of person I thought you were. What do you mean by that? You're my hero. I'm no hero. I was just trying to expose the truth. But thanks to you, I was saved. If you weren't around, I wouldn't be here today. That's why a detective who exposes the truth is a hero in my book. If there were more detectives like you in the city, maybe Aiko's death would have been solved earlier. I'm sure things would have been different. <sighs> Kanai Ward hasn't seen a hero like you in forever. That's why it's always been so dark here. So please. Please continue to be our hero. A hero? Maybe before I lost my memories, 
I was trying to become someone's hero. This time, there was a steep price to be paid for exposing the truth. But even so, the truth must always be revealed. I want to believe I can save someone. I want to continue being the hero she says I am. Still, I don't want to use Shinigami's powers again. <laughs> don't act like you don't like it, Master. Well, I'm just glad you seem more motivated now. Oh, yeah. We made a promise, didn't we? Well, yeah. I said I'd tell you about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret after the case was solved. Huh? Uh, oh, right. Hey, you seem like you weren't expecting much. But that's where you're wrong. Just between you and me, I am Kanai Ward's only informant. Oh, wait, what? Informant? Are you serious? A high school girl informant? I'm still a beginner, though. I started three years ago after taking over from my grandfather. And now that the peacekeepers control the city, there isn't much of a demand for information anymore. No wonder you know so much about rumors. Besides... I haven't felt this nervous since I was chased by those peacekeepers. Oh yeah, that's true. You said you were chased, but for what reason? That also explains why the peacekeepers were after you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if Kurumi is an informant, maybe she does have some crucial information about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Hi, Kurumi. So, Kurumi... What do you know about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? Well, it's likely connected to the top secret research that Amaterasu Corporation is conducting. I think it has something to do with why the unified government approved of Kanai Ward's isolation. Top secret research? Approved the isolation? Kanai Ward has always been a city centered around Amaterasu. But there was a lot more freedom in the past. People were allowed to come and go as they pleased. It became an autonomous zone, free from the Yuji's influence, only a few years ago. The reason behind it has to do with the top-secret research that Amaterasu is conducting. But what is the research? I don't know all the details, but it's supposed to be able to change the entire structure of the world. Really? All nations and enterprises worldwide want it. This research is what turned Amaterasu into a major global corporation. And that research is being done in Kanai Ward? I think so. It would explain why Kanai Ward's been isolated. It's so their research doesn't leak out. Research that can change the world? If that's true, it's some serious stuff. No wonder number one of the WDO would risk his neck here. Do you know any more details about that research? I do know a little bit. Grandpa risked his life to obtain one piece of confidential information about Amaterasu Corp. And I believe that somehow, it has to be related. What do you mean? Research to create a homunculus. An immortal monster. An immortal monster? Homunculus? Immortal monster? What's a homunculus? No, wait just a minute. Are you serious? I don't have any proof, but it's a fact that Amaterasu Corporation has previously researched homunculi. Homunculi? Being researched in this city? Is that Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? Immortal monsters? Monkey It's turned into a fantasy story out of nowhere. Oh, I'm sure not one to talk. <laughs> That's all I know. Well, is my information useful to you? Although, most of it was left behind by my grandpa. Left behind? One day, my grandpa just vanished. He's been missing ever since. Just That's vanished? I decided to take over where Grandpa left off as an informant. So, do you think what I've shared might help? Yeah. This is huge, considering how I had nothing until now. Really? That's great! I'm actually useful to a master detective! Oh, um, about that master detective thing. Look! That's where my Grandpa used to live! <sighs> that takes me back. I wish I could see him again. <sighs> oh well. And that's how you'll keep taking advantage of a high school girl, huh? We can not be saying it like that. By the way, Kurumi, why do you think your grandfather disappeared? Could it be the peacekeepers? No, I don't think the peacekeepers have anything to do with it. 
Grandpa vanished before Kanai Ward became isolated. He was just suddenly gone. But I do believe I'll see him again someday. Master, forget about some geezer you don't even know. What about this homunculus stuff? The homunculus research. If Amaterasu Corporation is still researching some immortal monster in Kanai Ward, it makes sense why there'd be such tight security. They fear the secret leaking to the outside world. Maybe it even has something to do with the great global mystery that number one mentioned. Speaking of which, what could the great global mystery be anyway? There's too much stuff we don't know, but you're one step ahead of the other detectives now, yeah? I guess that flat-chested Uggo is kind of useful. Maybe I should stop calling her Uggo now. I'll just call her flat. Still gonna hold on to that, huh? I guess this is technically an improvement. Yeah. You're gonna keep this info to yourself, right? It'll help you get ahead of the other master detectives. What? No. No, I'll report this to everyone. This isn't something I can deal with alone. Ugh, how lame. Couldn't you strike a pose and shout something like, I'm coming for you, Amaterasu? Nah. That's not my role. All I can do is investigate Kanai Ward's ultimate secret just a little bit further. The rest should be left to the real master detectives to handle. <laughs> this is my fault as your mentor for babying you so much. You've become the kind of detective who only relies on others without trying to solve problems yourself. W what's wrong with relying on others? for today the pleasure is all mine <sighs> i'm kind of hungry maybe i should go buy a meat bun on the way home you like those meat buns too huh yes i love them i eat at least one every two days they're kind of the comfort food of kanai ward it's like i'm instinctively drawn to them oh would you like to join me yuma no thanks i'll pass i see um will we meet again huh yeah of course that's great if you ever need any information you can count on me see you later why do i feel like she's gonna rest in peace later on when we find her uh, i hope she's okay on her own i couldn't bring myself to say i'll walk you home just say it what are you 12 are you sure you don't want to go back to the agency weren't you running an errand a while ago <sighs> You're right! Oh no! I'd better hurry back! Oh gosh. Not this transition, oh my goodness. Oh god, I practically just cracked my spine right there. It's true. Does it ring a bell, Chief? Unfortunately, I've never even heard of it. You sure it's not just some rumor? The way Kurumi explained it leads me to think it's true. Regardless, there's too little information. We lack anything definite at the moment. Still, it's better than having nothing at all. Well done, Yuma. Thank you. You're like a dog wagging its tail whenever you get complimented. You were late getting back, but I never imagined you'd get yourself into another mess. At least I'm getting information, bro. Uh, what the hell is going on? Uh, I'm so angry. I'm talking with the last. I'm really oh. sorry. Okay, I thought that was all typos right there. And your tail gets tucked between your legs whenever you get yelled at. Setting aside how I nearly died of hunger and that Yuma needs to be put on a leash, you picked another fight with the peacekeepers. That's the biggest problem here. We weren't picking a fight. Besides, we got to expose the truth in the end. That look on Martina's face was awesome. Right, Yuma? That's not what I'm talking about. How can you be so relaxed? There, there, list man. 
Please remain calm. So, is it true the culprits in that case suddenly died? That makes it similar to what happened in the mailman case. Moreover, it is also similar in that those involved in each case, like Desuhiko and myself, had their memories wiped. There are too many common traits to call it a coincidence. Uh. The memories related to the case disappear. <laughs> Perhaps it is due to someone's forte. Uh. No way. What kind of useless forte would that be? Besides, no one here has an ability like that. Could another master detective have found their way here? It'd be one thing if we were anywhere else in the world, but we're in Kanai Ward. This isn't the kind of place some ambitious master detective could barge into by himself. If someone got officially dispatched here, I would know. Anyway, why are you all looking so glum? The case is closed and we got new information. It's a fantastic step forward. It's springtime and all is right in the world. Spring? It rains all year long here. And we've had nothing but trouble. Ugh! Just what the hell is going on here? It's like the hand of death itself. <gasps> oh. What's wrong, Vivia? You know what they say. The greater the detective, the more often they encounter death. Isn't that right, Yuma? Uh... That does kind of apply to you, Yuma. In a way, you're like a death detective. Okay, you're acting way too no, smart, bro. Don't take it the wrong way. I mean that as a compliment. But even if it offends you, I refuse to apologize. Apologizing is too much of a hassle. The death detective. You have a cool nickname, Yuma. No way! I don't want a nickname like that. Really? But it sounds so awesome! It For seems you! death has taken a liking to you, Yuma. That's one of your talents, in a way. Sheesh. I'll never understand this guy. I'll figure out how to discipline Yuma later. For now, we need to come up with a plan to handle the peacekeepers. You said this case involved Vice Director Martina, right? She's Director Yomi's right-hand woman. I heard she's both his close advisor and his mistress. I'm sure they're gonna make a move somehow. <sighs> I don't even want to think about it. What will they do? Uh oh! Oh god, they're playing See? the base? This is what I'm talking about! Everyone, brace yourselves! Are you serious? <laughs> this is so fun! How is that fun? Agency is sinking. Where is everyone? Somebody help. Hey, Master, snap out of it. Come on. Master. Oh, gosh. Watch everyone rest in peace somehow. Uh, huh? Kaboom! <laughs> oh, it sank, all right. <laughs> this is the bolt of judgment, the fire of purification, a supernova explosion. So you're hey, the one that sent it, huh? Who prepared that torpedo? Unfortunately, it was I, Martina Electro. Ah, uh, I figured it was you. Hmm. That wasn't enough firepower! I told you to blow up the whole river and vaporize them, didn't I? Now it just looks like I'm causing chaos! Half-assed executions of the law are nothing but senseless violence! I told you to demonstrate perfect order! Listen to me. A clean and pure execution of the law is overwhelming, absolute, and completely blows everything away without a trace! I'm terribly sorry, Director Yomi. No matter. You are my beloved right hand. Oh, not this again. You need to remain by my side. Yes, thank you. I will forever be by your side to serve you. Oh God, this girl just, just, 
Her mind broke. Her mind Thing broke like is, ages ago. Even though you're my beloved right hand, you still need to be punished. Huh? You couldn't even solve a case caused by a couple of brats. Not to mention the detectives escaped under your watch. But it's all right. Don't worry. You are my beloved right hand. I won't hurt you. I need you to stay pretty for me forever. I... I understand. So, what is my punishment? See this? It's a recent invention by Amaterasu Corporation called a High Performance Presser. It can compress up to 50 kilograms of material and instantly turn it into a cube. What the... Even what the freak? Even humans can be turned into pretty little cubes. Huh? I'll keep you on my person at all times, so you'll always be by my side. That is psychotic beyond belief. You are my beloved right hand. Please wait. What? You, you must be joking. Hey, you. Take my beloved right hand over there. Director Yomi, please wait. Please have mercy. Oh, Martina. There's something I wanted to ask you before you go. What's love? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Take her away. Oh gosh, she is literally rest in peace. She's about to be All literally right. turned into a meat cube. Now, let's go find the corpses of those detectives that got blown up. So first Seth, now Martina. Oh god, what is happening? Good day, sir. What? You, you don't know? I, I guess not, since you're still new. That's number one, the leader of the World Detective Organization. Oh, is this a glimpse of human's memories? Him? I have no idea. Why would someone that high up be here underground? There's a book vault here. It's a secret book vault that only number one can enter with his biometrics. It supposedly contains data from generations of great detectives, sealed books, and so on. <laughs> Didn't know that. Don't even think about going in there, newbie. I, I know what. Was it number one carrying an old book just now? That Shining Gummy's book. I wonder what that book was. You're curious? Well, how about you go investigate? You may be a trainee, but you're still a detective. Investigate? Me? <laughs> Kidding. Don't take it so seriously, Yuma. Yeah, I knew it. Those are Yuma's, oh, those are Yuma's, like, lost memories. <gasps> uh, oh, wait, where are we? Uh, huh? uh... Wait, where am I? Beats the hell out of me. But weren't you by my side the whole time? Don't you know what happened to us? Like that time back at the Amaterasu Express. I was only able to stay awake back then because we just made the pact and we weren't fully synchronized yet. But that didn't work this time. When you lose consciousness, my vision also goes dark. Wait, seriously? Actually, do you remember drifting in the river after the explosion? You almost died. Wow, so really? Even as a death god, I thought I was gonna die. This is no laughing matter. Anyway, because your biological activity stabilized, I was also able to wake up. Everything's A-OK -okay so far. Now, let's go find out where we are. I want to go exploring so bad my eyes are watering. That's a bit dramatic. Where are we? What in the... Let's check things out for now. What in the fresh hell kind of five-star... five-star hotel did I check into 
this looks fire i ain't gonna lie this looks fire i would definitely want to check into this but i know if i check in for just one night it'll possibly, it'll possibly cost me like over like 10 grand or some 10 grand a night holy crap where are we oh wow Who's Who, who's there? Who's you? Hi there. Wait. Nice to meet you. Wait, he was the wait, he was in the trailer. I sure look suspicious, huh? Uh, with the one eye tongue sticking out. What in the fresh hell have we got into right now? Damn, I almost got a double S. All right, whatever. Right. Holy. Holy crapola. Oh my goodness. <gasps> well, that was interesting. All right, so obviously I would like to go on forth from this. Problem is I kind of, I cannot stream for this long, unfortunately. But, well, this was a twist and a half. Well, I mean, I kind of had a feeling that um, somehow all three girls were connected somehow. But, uh, oh my goodness, that's so loud. Hey, Sophia, how's it going? Thank you so much for the raid with the 13 viewers. Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is my name is Solar. I'm considered to be the a professional model, a professional fashion slash entertainment model, and I continue to, and I'm considered to be one of the brightest models up to date. So I hope you enjoy your time here, over here at the Sunlight Army. And <laughs> how's it going? Nah, thank you so much, Pete. Thank you so much, Sophia, for the raid. It's going very good today. I actually just finished playing. Uh, one chapter of uh what do you call um uh, master detective archives and i was actually about to end stream too so this is kind of like a weird timing at the end there so i apologize for that <laughs> oh man hold on let me go ahead and do this for you actually i that was not that was not that uh There you go. Is that not falling mode? I thought it was falling mode before. Oh, I guess I wasn't, I guess. I'm sorry. Uh, and you were... Oh, you were just playing League of Legends too? Okay. <laughs> All good, glad I could stop by for a little bit. Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. Thank you so much for actually joining me. So I guess because you just raided me, I guess it's I guess it's fit for me to actually bring bring all your love to another streamer as well. So let's see who is live right now. Um. Who's life? I thought nothing's showing me right now. Well, we haven't raided Juzo before, so why not? Why not we raid Juzo? All right, see you later, Sophia. Thank you so much for joining again. So why don't we start a raid with him? This is the raid message for everyone. And again, thank you guys so much for joining. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out, everyone. <laughs>